Today I'm going to show you how to assemble your Graco Nautilus 3-in-1 car seat super quick and without going crazy because the instructions they gave me were driving me crazy. So there's two pieces to the actual car seat, the backrest and the bottom. These are going to slide into each other and then we'll set up the backrest. The first thing we're going to do is put on these shoulder straps. So first figure out which one's the right one, which one's the left one. Um, just as a clue, the left one is where the buckle goes into. The right one has the little plastic buckle. And the metal is going to go below the plastic. So this will be further towards the bottom. A big shout out to my viewers for this next change to my original video. Um, the instructions are a little bit unclear. This is the bad example. This is how I th what I thought it was saying to do originally. So there's a loop here at the end of this shoulder strap. I thought it was saying just put it through the plastic like that, but that's not hardly supporting it at all. This is how you want it to be so that the loop actually goes around this whole bar here. So to do that, what you're going to do, let me slide these out first. What you'll do is um, make sure you have this lined up correctly. So if you think about it, you want these to both clip together. So put it so that is facing in towards the other strap. And then you're going to take this loop, loop it over like this, and then slide it in and in on both sides. So you do the same thing over here and then the same thing on this strap. So then loop these so again the straps are going towards the outside on both of them and we'll set that aside just for one second because we need to slide it into here but before we can do that we need to disconnect this pad just a little bit so we can get to it. So the way that this padding is held on is with a lot of little elastic bands and plastic um, Hooks. I'm getting a little closer up on these details so you can see them. So on the back of the bottom, we're going to slide these two elastics off. Oh, if I can do it with one hand. Okay. And then along the side as well. So this is towards the back still. This is the cup holder right here. So towards the back still. There's another elastic that comes kind of through this little nit niche here. And there's a metal clip on the bottom here that it's connected to. So we'll disconnect that elastic as well. Do the same thing on this side. It's coming right through there. We'll disconnect that little elastic. Okay, so now what that's gonna allow us to do is pick this up all the way so that we can see the little track that the backrest is gonna slide into. Okay, so there's two of them there. Now, um, these little red levers right here we're going to have to pull on in order to allow this part to slide in. We're going to leave it reclined, laying back how it is. And if you notice, these little circular parts on both sides of both arms. So those are going to lock right into place in that little groove there. And pulling on these is going to open it up so that we can slide it in there. So first we'll just kind of line it up where we need it to be as we pull on these grooves and slide that chair in, it'll lock right into place. There's still going to be a gap there, but if you pull back on the top, it's not going to come out. So the next thing we need to do is just uh, make sure that our shoulder straps are staying on the outsides and they're not here in the middle. So keeping them out on the outsides, we're just going to sit this seat up and keep it underneath the pad here. So as we set this up, what's going to happen is um, these little red levers are just going to lock right into place. So we are practically there. There's only a couple more things we need to do. We need to reconnect this uh, cushion where we disconnected it and then put the shoulder straps through uh, and the insert. So the first thing we're going to do is slide this underneath kind of the wedge between the crease between the two parts. And when we turn it around, you might have to kind of fish for it, but right above these red levers, you can find that elastic. And it'll hook on, let me get a little more light here. It'll hook on to the lever right there. 
And same thing when we find this one. There we go. We'll hook on to the lever there. On the front, we have to reconnect the ones that we disconnected here in the corners. But before we do that, we want to bring these shoulder straps in. So mine kind of got slid here between these parts. Just keep pulling until it comes forward. And the reason we need to do this first is because it's actually going to go in this little groove right here and the elastic is going to be on the outside of it. So we need um, the shoulder strap to be inside the elastic. So then we're going to find this little elastic, reconnect it to the little metal clip there, which may be difficult with one hand. There we go. And again, making sure first that the shoulder strap is inside the elastic before you do that. Doing the same thing on this side. I'm going to find my shoulder strap. That's not it. Find my shoulder strap. Bring it forward. Make sure it's inside this little groove here. And then I'll find the elastic. There it is. And bring it down and reconnect it to that little metal loop there. Um, if you are going to use the insert, now is the time to put it back, or to put it on there. What you're going to do is, um, where the two holes are at the top is obviously where the shoulder straps are going through, and both the plastic and the metal clips are going to be underneath that. So you're just putting the strap itself through, where that little loop is. Just put that right through on both sides. Again, making sure it's not twisted as you do that. Okay, then we'll just kind of slide that down. And now you need to decide which of these holes you're going to use just based on the height of your child, the size of your child. Um, this little red button will allow you to slide the headrest up or down to expose more or less of those holes. So I'm going to use the second one. Um, my little guy is almost two years old. It's just going to depend though. So I'm just going to slide these both through this hole, and you can slide it through there as far as you want, um, but I'll show you on the back what we're looking for and what we need to be doing. So on the back, there are these plastic chutes, clear plastic with little holes in them, and on the inside of them, you'll see that it's actually open, so you can put your hand in there and grab the strap that you just pushed through. Now what you want to do is it's going to follow that chute up over this little red pole in here. So I'm going to push it up with my hand here, try and guide it with my other hand, and over that red pulley there. So you can see it coming out there. Do the same thing with the other side. Grab that and push it up. and over that red pulley. Okay, so once we have both these straps through, we're going to reach underneath the base, and you'll find this strap here with this little metal, looks like a hammerhead shark kind of thing on it. So what we're going to do is connect both the shoulder straps into here, the right one on the right side, the left one on the left side. And it's pretty simple. Um, all we're going to do is come over the top with this loop on the strap, I'm over the eye of the hammerhead shark, if you want to use that analogy, and slide it into this groove as far as we'll go, and keep pushing, keep pushing, until you get the entire strap inside of that groove there, so it's underneath that lip. So we'll do the same thing with the other strap, and again, don't just put it in like that, it can slip out. You need to push, scrunch that strap up until it's inside the head of the hammerhead shark. <laughs> so, now we turn this around, both of our straps are in place, they're going through the insert, the bottom of the insert is just going to sit here, um, the, the, where the straps connect into, comes up through, there's two different holes you can put it through again depending on the size of your child. This little elastic here is to go 
from through this strap to kind of help keep it in place. In my experience, it doesn't really help keep it in place that well. Um, and this also will adjust the tightness of the straps. So you can see it pulling those shoulder straps in there. If you reach in and pull up, there's a little metal lip in there. And if you hold it up and then pull on the shoulder straps, it'll bring that slack back out. That's all there is to it.